Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Don't make assumptions. Assume nothing. In any kind of relationship, you can make the assumption that others know what we think. and We don't have to say what what we want, we assume they're going to do what we want because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt and think, how could you do that? You should know. Get rid of the gray, folks. Keep it black and white. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 93, NASDAQ off 29, S&P's down 14. That's approximately a four tenths of 1% down in all the indices, folks. We were down a lot further than that. We were down almost 1% uh, earlier. Gold contract, gold contract's up $13.90. That caught a bid out here today. You're trading at 12.99 an ounce. You get gold up a percent. Silver also caught the bid. Up 32 cents, trading $15.36. Silver's up 2.16. Oil, oil down 60 cents, trading $56.05 a barrel. Notes and bonds, you get the 10 year note up two ticks, 122.23. 30 year up six, 145.31. Bottom line, they both want higher price, lower year. They're just not giving it up. The 10 year is almost at its lows for the past year, folks. We go over to this 30 year, we take a look at the 30 year out here. 30 year right now. Uh, you traded 245,000 contracts. That's good contract volume out here. You're approaching the top of the consolidation. The top of the consolidation inside the 30 year being uh, 146.12. We get to 146.06 today. Uh, 10 year bottom line is at the top of the consolidation. So it's going to be intriguing uh, how we rock and roll on Monday morning uh, on this 10 year. Uh, the top of the 10 year is 122.28. We hit 122.30 today. And you got 1.6 million contracts. So that's good contract volume as you're going into that move. King Dollar. What do we get with King Dollar? King Dollar out here, folks. This is a, just, it's a, it's a wild one, man. This, this battle on King Dollar has been amazing. So check it out. Yesterday, wide price spread. Have the volume behind the move. H had it all, man. Bottom line, inside the futures market. You know, you check out the 97,195. You check out the 97,230. Uh, bottom line, and this is going to be wild watching this shake out, we're at 97,260. So even in the future market, folks, it only needs 30 ticks uh, to fail. And the cash market, it didn't make it, which is pretty wild, man. I mean, and it's not only wild, what you're going to see is that it missed it by one tick. So what we had out here yesterday, yesterday got to a price point of 97,710. Well, 97,711 is the high of the 14th. And what we did out here, you back down. Um, now, it's not that you back down a lot, but we back down enough from the highs of yesterday, which is 97.710. Now watch this, this is what is, gets intriguing. On the weekly, what you've done is that you're, right now, you're under the low of the past high, which is the week of February 15th. Now this is important, the reason this is important is this. When you test a high or low, folks, okay, bottom line, you can test it over and over again. But if you still lay underneath it, guess what? It's not done. It's want to go back up there. When you, in this case, what we did is we tested that high. You failed. But that's not the kicker here. The kicker is that it, at this point, that you can go over this in a second, too. You're only 60 ticks away from this. If it closes under the 97,368, your probability goes higher that that's going to be a failure. And once again, that... The battle is going to be now going downtown, and we'll see if we get any juice on the way down. This battle has been going on since October 24th. If we go over to the euro, which the euro has calmed down, meaning when I say calmed down is that, you know, European markets have been closed for a while. It's, uh, well, it's, it's 3 o'clock. It's midnight uh, in Europe right now. Bottom line, what the European market, what the euro did do, it got back inside its range. Yesterday was a total breakdown. Got down to 111.77. Right now you're at uh, 112.42. So it got back inside the range. So it's saying that the euro also wants higher price, which is pretty wild, man. Um, that, that would make sense if the dollars fail and the, it's all about the euro anyway. There's no two ways about that. We're going to take a look at the GDX. 
the gold equities folks, they've been saying, you know, bottom line is that they want higher price. Well, it's on a Friday. Pay attention to it because it's a big number that they couldn't trash gold on a Friday. Uh, GDX, you get the volume in it. We're at 32 million already. Uh, now, this is going into 78. Uh, what I expect you're going to see here, th th we're not going to get 78. We'll get somewhere around 45 million. That's how I suspect we're going to get it as we're, we're going into that number. Um, what you get, if we go take a look at Newmont, Newmont Mining right now, that's up 56 cents. You take a look at Barrick, Barrick right now is up uh, 25 cents. You take a look at Inico Eagle, Inico Eagle uh, is up 122. Now, Inico Eagle, folks, has been basically one of the leaders coming off, off of this down trip. Um, well, I mean, it's been going up now for six months. But bottom line, that's been one of the leaders. This is something to keep your eye on because you get a break topside big time today, and this is going to go after that 4431. Royal Gold, we took, go take a look at Royal. What do you have with Royal Gold? That's up a buck seventy-seven. That's going after its highs also. Franco Nevada, FNV. Yeah, nice setup. Up buck ninety-one. Last high is 77.92, you're at 77.33, and you put these on weeklies, yeah, same setup, on a weekly, same setup. You're pushing the consolidation, and you're pushing that consolidation with an expansion of volume. That's what you're looking for, you know, when you're trying to get to higher price. S&Ps, let's go take a look at the S&P. So inside the SPY, what you're going to have is this. I'll look at the SPY first. So the SPY right now is 60 million shares. Uh, yesterday you did 94. They'll put, what time is it? It's 3.13, 60. You'll get a good 80 million shares. That's going to be big volume. That's going to be big volume. And then what you are going to have, folks, is that you're going to have volume coming off the high with volume. Um, 396 million thus far in the SPY, and you're going into 385. So you're coming down, you get some volume on the way down. I suspect the first place that we're going to get some support or res resistance, to, no, support of going lower is a, a long way down. We're talking about 260. What 260 is, 260 is the high of the week of December 21st. That's what you have. And I, I, my take is that, yeah, we're on our way. You made the cur curve. Bonds want higher price. Metals want higher price. Dollars still a toss-up. They're fighting like bulls and bears in the dollar thing. Market wants lower price. Coming right back, folks.